Welcome to Popcorn Movie Review. My name's Jay. And today on the channel, we're going to take a look at Netflix's newest true crime docuseries, Missing, Dead or Alive. It's not over until you find the person or you find their body. This has so much blood on it. I am so sorry. So I can say personally, my experience with true crime dramas in terms of podcasts and television shows and documentaries is limited to some degree. I'm not one of those people that sits and listens to a true crime podcast every morning on their way to work or on their way home or something like that. Um, I will say though that I do occasionally watch them. They are something that I enjoy, but it's definitely not my go-to when it comes to entertainment. I will admit though that this one was popped up on my Netflix account, showed up on that top 10 list, and I figured, hey, maybe this one is worth giving a try. So the show follows the missing persons unit in the South Carolina Richmond County Sheriff's Department. And this series takes place over four episodes. It's a very small, condensed show. Some of them run just over an hour. I believe one is 32 minutes though. So all in all, not a very long show to sit and digest. In terms of kind of the missing persons element of the show being kind of the, the main component, it is very fascinating to say the least. One thing that I think this show does exceptionally well is provides you with four different cases with positive outcomes and negative outcomes. I've got a new case, David Taylor. He just won the lottery. David! 10 year old Mamira Watson. Sierra Stevens. Every second that passes, this child is suffering. I would say again, at least in my experience, when I sit and listen to a true crime doc or watch something, I feel like the outcome is typically a negative one, unfortunately. This was nice to see though that that doesn't always have to be the case and more times than not, honestly, isn't the case, thankfully. I would say that typically, true crime documentaries probably more often than not lead to negative outcomes and I think that is part of the appeal of them and I, I can understand that. Having the sheriff's department be able to find these individuals and make sure that they were okay and in good and caring situations was, was a good change of pace. Overall, the show is interesting. I will say that initially when I sat down to watch it, some of the filming was unique in that I wasn't sure if this was something that was based on truth and this was kind of a dramatization of a story or really what was going on. So I'm gonna be honest, I had to pause at one point and take a bit of a research break and figure out really what I was diving into, only to find out that it actually was all true and for the most part was filmed in real time. There are some segments though that you can tell where clearly, you know, something probably happened in real life, but the director of the documentary said, hey, you know what, can we go back and refilm this and add a little bit of this dialogue here? And you can kind of feel those moments, I think, as well. There are some times where things feel real, feel like they're happening in real time and a couple moments that are, are clearly staged. These sheriffs aren't trained actors and actresses, so I, going in, I don't expect that from them by any means. And I would say that they more than held their own in terms of that. And again, when things are sincere and in the moment, you can see that, and I think for the most part are emotionally invested in them as well. Overall, the stories are solid, they're interesting, they're engaging. There's enough range of diversity between the four missing person cases to every time you know they start a new one, bring a little bit something different, bring something unique to the table for the series. I mean, I would guess that for the most part, if you like this type of show, if you like this type of content, you'll be more than happy with this for sure. Again, as somebody myself who time to time kind of dabbles in this, I enjoyed this. I'm very happy I spent some time sitting down and giving this a try. And I would recommend if you're looking for something this weekend to watch that's not too terribly hard to digest, this one would be a good choice for sure. Tell me down in the comments below though, have you seen Missing Dead or Alive, this new Netflix documentary? What are your thoughts on it? How do you think it stacks up against other true crime documentaries or shows like this maybe? Or even if you had other true crime recommendations, I'd love to read all of them down there. And until next time, have a great time curling up on the couch and enjoying a good show.